And I'm gonna start with the one that is the, let's say most advanced of the systems or the most capable of the systems. So the first type of system is a robotic weld cell that generally has multiple robots within the system. And it also has a turnion with two additional axes. So what the turnion is, it gives you the ability to rotate in this orientation. And then there's an A and B side which also have the ability to individually rotate. So your fixtures would get mounted on your A and your B side. So you'd have a fixture one, fixture two, and you can rotate that with the robot. Generally, it utilizes the robot's auxiliary axes to rotate those additional axes. So the reason why you would utilize a system like this is for the ability to have a better reach and the ability to have the capability to reach. Maybe you need to perform a weld on the top of a robotic weld fixture. You may need to also flip that robotic weld fixture over and then perform some welds on the bottom side. Now, one other instance that you may have is maybe you need to weld on the top or weld on the bottom, and you can then bring that weld fixture closer to the robot to be able to perform the weld. Or maybe the robot can't reach in a certain angle, so you can tilt that fixture with that seventh axis to be able to hit that weld. So that's one of the largest advantages of those type of systems. Now, when it comes to the number of robots within the system, that is generally based on a few different things. One of the things being your reach. So sometimes the robot can't reach the entire fixture. So even if you put the robot directly in the center of the fixture, it may not be able to reach the top left corner of the fixture, or it may not be able to reach the top right corner of the fixture. So in those instances, you have to have two robots, so that way they can both be offset from the center sub and be able to reach the component. 